Hey everybody, how are we doing today? Welcome into the stream. I think it's about time we spent some time stroking together. What do you say? Hello, Skinja Ninja, Captain E-Rock, Riot, Naruto, Dragon Shaft. How are you guys doing tonight? I thought maybe tonight I would take us into the workplace setting. Ooh. I have a green screen. Camera to fix. Let me just go ahead and uh, slide that over. What do you say? Let's go ahead and just give that up. everybody's hump day. Hmm? I thought today I would take us into a little um, great wig. Oh, I grew this myself, Skinja. I grow it just for this segment and then I shave it off promptly. to make sure it's looking nice and fluff for you guys I thought tonight I would work on a picture that was taken by Rafael Sayas in Brazil and maybe I thought we could amp up this photo a little bit what do you say how many of you out there work in a workplace scenario how many of you have the 9 to 5 Oh, hey there, Zion. How are you? Welcome. Thank you for that host and welcome in, my friend. I'm just going to go ahead and get my paintbrush ready here for a little painting action. Oh. And how are you, Dragon Shaft? How are you feeling these days? I think I'm going to go ahead and get started by adding just a little... Um, A little steam to this coffee. What do you say we start by just heating up this coffee a little bit? I love stroking it with you. It really gets me to gives you that release you need, you know? Oh. I know all too well, my friend. Let's just go ahead and heat up this coffee. No reason why this coffee should be sitting here all Cold. Nobody wants a cold cup of coffee. You're tired. Have you had a long day at work? Oh yeah, sometimes you just gotta get in there and heat things up. Just gotta get in there and heat it up as best you can. I think that coffee's looking a little, a little hotter. Just a little hotter. Oh yeah. I wish I had like an opacity setting I could do on here. Cause sometimes you just gotta get a little light handed, you know? Don't always need to be so heavy handed. What do you say we... I'm gonna go ahead and buddy holly up these glasses. Does anybody have any suggestions for something that they would like to see? added to this workplace photo. I was thinking maybe I could add just a little bit of tape right here. Just go ahead and fix up these glasses a little bit. I'm just going to grab a little bit darker of a See if I can't add a wrapped look to those glasses. 
Gives him a little bit of depth. What else are we seeing in this photo that might not be there yet that we can use our imaginations for to jazz it up a little bit? What if... What if... I like to keep some white out handy. It's always good to have some white out. You never know when you're gonna make a mistake. Am I right? When I'm right, I'm right. I think something that I would like to do, or at least I'm going to attempt, is I'm going to try and make Some of those pop-out eyeballs you get on those springs. Well, need to undo that paint. Because sometimes things in life just pop out at you. Isn't that right, Ryan? say we do something like that and then I'm just gonna add I'm gonna thicken up this brush a bit exactly right are you excited for NedgeCon 2019 Coming up very soon. Very, very soon. I'm just curious to see how you and Leech interact in person. I have a feeling there's just going to be a lot of silence, a lot of awkward silences, and We might not even say a word to each other the entire trip. It might be just too awkward. That is a possibility. We just don't even greet each other. We're just completely rude to each other. Play with a little bit of shading here. Just gonna get gradually a little bit darker. A stiff nod and a greeting, and another one leaving. Maybe just a short curt leech. And that's it. Trying to add a little bit of depth to these. I might need to just keep just keep playing with gradual darkness. Sometimes the darkness needs to be go in a gradual motion. You don't want to go too dark too fast. Sometimes you just gotta find a nice in-between space. Isn't that right, Ryan? I'm wondering what everyone else is going to call each other. I plan on calling everybody by their real name. That's my goal going in. Leech thinks I don't know her real name. I'll surprise you on the day. a little bit more of a blending. I like... I am liking this contrast here, but I need a middle ground. 
in between the two. This might be too light. Oh, it's not light enough. A little bit lighter. That's not too bad. Just need to find a little bit of a middle ground here. big goofy black black dot you can call me ma'am certainly request something. I'm just building things until requests start coming in. And then I think I'm going to make this other one it is a broken pair of googly glasses. Can we carve for a good time call beaver into the desk? We certainly can. You're liking the eyeball glasses? Thank you. Let's see if I can... I'm not as good at drawing it that way as I am this way. So I can watch a little bit better myself. Well, let's see, for a good time, call Beaver. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. gentlemen, gentlemen. So what I want to do uh, is I think I'm going to put it right down. Right down here. Mosaics are among the most durable forms of decorative art to have survived. So, survived for centuries. what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't grab that color right here. And then I'm just going to try and lighten this color up a little bit. And then I'm going to bring this down. And let's see what this looks like. want to look too too smooth if it's something that was carved in this is something that somebody spent some time making Go. Some nice, not. 
not so even carving. Just for space, I will keep it just beaver. There we go. for a good time called beaver and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back through with a little bit of a darker color maybe a little bit of a lighter color I think I'm going to go a little bit darker and just give it Just a single. Like maybe it's been there for a little bit. And it's starting to get a little bit dirty. People have known about calling Beaver for a good time for maybe a couple years now. This is not a new revelation. This is something that's been known. Can I get can I get a dick butt on the mouse? What is a what's a dick butt? to a certain community. What community are we talking about? Imagers, specifically. If you send me a photo of one in the Discord, or give me some sort of uh, an example, I will consider adding it. Also, whisper from before, I'm not noticing what you're noticing. It must be very, very subtle, very slight. Sometimes it's important to make sure that things are the right age. I want to make sure that things aren't too young. Like a fine wine. You want to make sure that it's aged correctly before you dive in. If 
you're not sure if it's the right age or not, there might be some sort of label or identification somewhere to make sure that the subject is old enough and aged properly. There you go. Leech, there's for a good time call Beaver. There's one more thing I would like to do, just to make it look a little bit more realistic. I'm going to... At least I'm going to try. I'm going to try taking this color. This is all the way down. It might not blend well enough. Whoops. But I was going to try... I can always see what it looks like at a distance. Doesn't look too bad. Yeah, I think it's whisper, I think it's slight enough that I can go ahead and pull the trigger. I think you have to really be looking for it. In order to find it. Oh yeah. I think there was just a sound clip from Mr. Rogers in this song I was listening to. I'm not sure how loud the music is. I can turn it up a little bit. There we go. But I believe at the end of that last video, Mr. Rogers was phoning in. All right, what else do we see in this photo that should be here? What is a dick butt? Let's see, if I bring up... It's like a little peanut looking guy, right? Mr. Rogers was a legend. A legend. Did you send me one? Oh, you sent me one to Discord. Okay, yeah, this is what I was looking at. Yes, I can put one of those on the mouse. One of those. Yeah. I can put that on the mouse. Let's zoom in. And move over to here. I'm just going to grab a nice black color. And put it just as thin as I can go. Start by just outlining this area. Hmm. I might have to go a little bit. It's a very thin space for something like this. Let's do something like that, and then I'll drop down the first leg. Like that. Let's do something like that. Something 
like that. There we go. E Rock, are you ready for your painting stream on Saturday? Are you all set up and ready to go? And are you doing IRL painting? Is that what I saw? I am. I'm wearing the wig now. It's important to break it in. See, due to lack of space, I might not be able to get all of the eye detail in there because this is as thin as it can go. So I'm just gonna leave it like that and give him a little mouth like this. And then I'll start the other leg, but it's not going to fit on the mouse. Hello, the pimp of Iowa. How are you? Welcome in. No, I'll do MS Paint 3D. I've never used a program before. It'll be great. It is a great little program. Welcome to Stroking Together with Tipsy Ross, Pimp of Iowa. Welcome in. There you go, right? That's the best I can get for a, a dick butt on the mouse. I'm glad to be here, I guess. I'm glad you can be here, too. Now, let's see. What else would we like to see in this picture? So far, we've heated up the coffee. We've added some broken uh, googly eye glasses some blacked out keys any are there any letters of the alphabet that the viewers find offensive any numbers letters Q you find Q to be offended you're offended by Q as well well that is a strong Q offense so let's go ahead and just Remove that cue. There we go. Rub it right out. Sometimes you just gotta rub one out. Isn't that right, Riot? That person cue cued so hard. I've never been a big fan, myself, of the delete key. I think people in life should be more embracing and less deleting, more accepting. Semicolon is kind of offensive. I mean, make up your mind, do you want to be a colon or a semicolon? take a look. Maybe one more, two more keys. Let me spread these out a little bit. I'm going to say that command key is fine, but why do you need two of them? That seems a little overbearing if you ask me to have two command keys. You don't need all that mess in your life. There we go. We can write spacebar on the spacebar. 
We can. Why is the spacebar never labeled? Or the most it ever gets is a little dash or a little ridge. Why can't why can't the spacebar be clearly labeled? I think that's the only assumed button. That is the only assumed button. Yeah, it is time for the spacebar's time to shine. I like where your mind is at. Let's see. This is as thin as I can get. So let's just make it nice and proud. Like maybe somebody used their whiteout recently to label this bar. I like to think that Captain E-Rock has his space bar labeled at home. And this isn't a new revelation for him. How do we feel about that? Oh yeah. When something feels right, you just know it feels right. Let's see, what else could we add? This is a MacBook, so I guess you're gonna have to use a USB attachment to plug in all of your USBs. I feel like that was a Mac burn. I did write paper punch with a Sharpie on said paper punch. You don't want to confuse your paper punch with another appliance. So that definitely makes sense. I have an idea for this phone over here. I'm going to black it out as if... There's an incoming call. We gotta do something with the phone. You might want to undo your lines. What lines are you talking about? Why am I undoing? Oh, there's white lines there. Good call. They never happened. It's um, a sorry waste of a white line. I'm usually not a big advocate for ridding of white lines in a dismissing way. Here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna black out the screen. this out and I'm gonna have them I'm gonna give them an incoming call how about we do an incoming call from Jesus well do we want to do Jesus yeah it could be Jesus it could be Satan It could say, ex-lover from Santa Claus. I think Zion has always wanted a call from Santa Claus. How do we feel about Santa Claus? Oh uh, yeah, in and out of that dark hole. It's looking pretty good so far. That's my line. You're taking Dark Side script. Okay. 
Yes, there's an incoming call from Santa. Wait, I need to put this lower. Because I feel like the time should be up here. Santa is calling at 2. How does the 4 look on an iPhone? I think it's like this. Gotta get better curves in there. Oh yeah. He's calling it 2.43 a.m. And this is a call from Santa. then you need that big green accept button and you need the red decline button There we go. A nice accept and decline from Santa. There we go. And I believe decline looks something like this. It's been a while since I've gotten a phone call. Because who calls anymore, really? You just send a text message. There's Santa calling at 2.43 a.m. I hope you don't get declined, Santa. I hope you don't get declined. Um, what else are we seeing? Now, what about that screen? Should we put something in the mountains? Maybe something coming out from over the top of the mountains. Yeah. Like Slender Man. Let me pull up. A Slender Man reference, just so I can get the images right. Okay, let's do let's do a Slender Man, but let's make Slender Man coming out over the top. What do you say? It's gonna be like a really tall slender man. I wanna get like a nice, I don't want black, but I want like a dark gray. Let's test that. That feels pretty good. Okay, and slender man. Slender man's gonna be kind of in this area. Thank you. 
It's going to be really tall. Let me back up just a little bit. Okay, that is the top. Excellent. There we go. Oh, yeah. Filling in that hole. Sometimes you just got to get in there and fill that hole. Maybe like an off-white color, not quite gray, but just kind of off-white. Or his head. Yeah, it's a giant, it's a giant slender man. I feel it should be. If you're gonna make a Slender Man, you might as well make it absolutely terrifying. How's that for a Slender Man? For a giant, giant Slender Man. Slender Man is just way too big. I kind of want to fill him in just a little bit here. Just want to fill in this arm, this shoulder a little bit. Looked a little like I had, had a bite taken out of it. Is there anything else we see that is missing on this painting? We've had the space bar, we've added Slender Man, we've added for a good time called Beaver. We have Santa calling in at 2.43 a.m. I hope it's not Christmas morning. We have the broken googly eyeglasses. We have the, the dick butt on the mouse. I'm thinking maybe we can add one or two more things into this picture. Just what are we missing? What is the thing in the upper left corner? I think that's a computer monitor or a TV. My guess is a TV. I have an idea. Let me just look up a reference point real quick. Why is he not watching Snickle says? I may have an even better solution. My question is, why is he not watching old school MTV? Yeah. Yeah. 
I say we get some old school MTV going on. What if we put... Do you remember old school MTV? What did you like to watch on M old school MTV? I remember watching... Was it TRL? Was that the name of that program? I think that was in... I believe that that was a uh, MTV program. The old school music videos. Let's get an idea for, okay. I'm gonna put it right in through here. Oh, that's not the color I chose. Oh yeah, it is the color I chose because I want to do this part first. Total request live, yeah. Put Carson Daly on the map. Then he had that terrible late night talk show. Last call with Carson Daly. And that took him right off the map. Now I need that lovely, lovely salmon pinkish color that they had going on. color solid pink color. Oh yeah, that's a nice pink. Real nice pink. I think we're just gonna try to go through an outline. Sometimes you just gotta go around the pink before you go into it. Sometimes you just can't go right into the pink. going around that pink just now. Now I'm just gonna, I'm actually gonna take my finger and 
just go ahead and move it around inside this pink. Nice, even, slow motions. And just really fill in this box with my finger. Just really getting my finger into that box. Some nice, long, even strokes, just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little bit of more thickness to this, just to clean up that back part. That doesn't look too bad. Can I get this any thinner? I can. So I'm gonna go ahead and just run that there, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just grab that pink. Sometimes you'd be aggressive with your pink. Just grab it. And clean it up a little bit like that. And then the TV color. I'm going to go ahead and do the black again to try and get into this TV. Again, I'm just going to kind of try to outline it. I need to be a little bit a little bit thicker than what I need. Sometimes you need to be a little bit thicker than what you think you need. Sometimes you need to be thinner than what you think you need. Sometimes you need to be thicker. It's always important to know the difference. area a little bit paler maybe this might be just about right Start from the bottom and work your way up. There we go. That's real nice. There, now they're watching old school MTV. They had this late night anime thing in the 1990s and it was like, sometimes hentai it was weird. That is a perfect little uh, MTV music symbol. Now I feel like we could maybe add one more thing to this before we call it a complete masterpiece. What is gonna be that one more thing? that really amps this picture up, that really pulls it all together. We have the blacked out keys. We have the space bar finally labeled. After who knows how many years. We have the giant slender man. We have heated up the coffee. We have Santa calling in at 2.43 a.m. We have the dick butt on the mouse. We have the googly eye glasses that are broken in two places. Not only in the bridge of the glasses, but also one of the eyes is missing. And we have for a good time called Beaver. 
pool of blood under the laptop and a bloody knife in the background. That got dark real quick. Leech is back. Very excited to meet you in a couple of weeks, Leech. What if I put the pool of blood over in this area? I'll start with a dark red and just lay a base layer down. It goes underneath the phone. phone is sitting in the pool of blood. Let's see if it'll let me. There we go. There we go. goes that's not what I wanted just gonna go down around the cords in this area be a pretty big pool of blood. Somebody went, was definitely murdered. I can go ahead and make this a little bit thicker and fill in this area. someone say murder they definitely didn't say muck duck because R is the most menacing letter in the English language that's why they call it murder and not muck duck go in here and I'm just going to add some more blood to the background. I 
but it's not going to make it to the other on the other side of this cord. This cord is going to be kind of corralling the blood into this area. That cord will be our little cutoff point. I'm going to go ahead and get in there nice and thick. There we go. Oh, yeah. How does that look for blood spill area? Hello, amazing. How are you? How are you feeling about that, Leech? Are you still here? Does that look like a good amount of blood? I think I want to put uh, just a little bit. It's starting to seep underneath the cord, but for the most part, it's corralled in that area. Ah, uh, that is up to the viewer, up to the interpretation of the art. Whose blood could it be? The computer owners? Maybe the baristas for getting their cappuccino wrong. Maybe the froth to milk ratio was unsatisfactory. It could be Mrs. Claus. Maybe they added whipped cream. Maybe they said no cinnamon sprinkle or nutmeg sprinkle on top, and they did it anyway. Now I'm just going to add, for balance, I'm going to put the knife over here. Or you asked for room and there was none. Or maybe they were out of sugar in the raw and you had to use bleached sugar. Nobody wants to use bleached sugar. Not even the people who make it. Not bleached sugar, exactly. But how are you doing, amazing? Are you ready for your painting stream on Saturday? Are you ready to really get in there? Well, how are you? Be right back. I forgot my coffee. Be very clear in the instructions of what you want if you're going to go get coffee. You don't want to end up like whoever this might be. It's going to be a nice big knife. I am not but I will get it together. Oh, I'm doing just fine. Feeling pretty good. Saturday. I feel like my stream is finally back up and running pretty smoothly. We were having some issues with it, but I think we're back up to looking good. Just 
not even it a little bit. Oh, that knife is really coming to life. I'm feeling pretty good with where we are with this painting right now. I feel like we've added a lot of story to it. In case you have... Oh, what do we want to title this? Oh, you know Beaver? You know our good friend Adjective Beaver? For a good time, you should give him a call. But I'm feeling pretty good. So, so far to this picture, we've added... We heated up the coffee. We have broken googly eye glasses. We finally labeled the space bar and took out a few offensive keys. The Q, the semicolon, the delete, and the second command. Because that's just too demanding of a keyboard. We added a dick butt to the mouse. We put a slender man in the background of the desktop photo. We made it so they're watching MTV, the original. And someone has been murdered. And for a good time, call Beaver. There's one more thing I'm going to do. Just for consistency's sake. I'm going to add just a little bit of blood coming around to this side of the, of the computer. Just a little bit. So you can see that it's starting to pull around the back of the computer and over onto the other side. It's only logical. something that we all created together. Oh, I don't like that line. I'll take that away. Quick, someone grab the bounty. This stuff is going to spread. And we all know the bounty is the quicker picker-upper. Or maybe that's Brawny. Or maybe that's Charmin. It's one of those things. Now, every good painting needs a good title. Or maybe it's Brawny. Haha. <laughs> I thought Dog the Bounty Hunter. It could be that, too. Uh, now, every good painting needs a title. I do like the idea of quick someone grab the bounty. Because you're not sure if it's grab the paper towels to clean up the blood or grab the bounty hunter to kill the person who killed this person. It could have a double meaning. How do we feel about quick grab the bounty? Or grab the money because maybe the hit was made and now you need to pay off the bounty hunter. It could have three. Three possible meanings. I think I like quick grab the bounty. So I'm going to save this as. I'm going to put this right into the Tipsy Ross. Finished paintings and it's going to be called quick grab 
the bounty. Or leave it to Beaver. I don't know. I think Quick Grab the Bounty just has so many. The artist in me says you need to give them as many possibilities as you can. But I do like the idea of Leave it to Beaver. That's not a bad runner-up. I'm feeling pretty good about this, uh, this painting. It's beautiful. I just want to look at it from a really far distance. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That looks amazing. I feel like this is the distance you would be able to see the Mona Lisa at if you were to go see the Mona Lisa. Like, that's how big it would look because that's how close they'll let you get. You know, bounty bars. What are bounty bars? I know mount bars. And then what if we get in real close? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, I know mount, mount bars to me is the coconut chocolate bar. That's some six of that's some son of gun pixels right there, isn't it though? Look at this. Maybe we call them bounty here. Bounty bars. I want to Google that. I'm gonna look up bounty bars right now. Bounty bars. I have a computer somewhere nearby. Images. Oh yeah. Yeah, we call those mounds bars here. And then if they add an almond to it, we call them almond joys. Isn't that right, Raya? I used to hate coconut as a kid. My grandmother used to make a coconut cake. And I hated when she would bring a coconut cake for Easter because I thought it was so gross. And now, as an adult, coconut is definitely one of my favorite things. I remember going trick-or-treating, and anytime I got mounds or almond joys, I always gave them to my mom. I would always give her mounds, almond joys, and any Hershey special dark. And now I would harbinge all of those things. There you go, folks. There's our beautiful painting. I make these coconut and peanut butter balls. Ooh, those sound really good. Those do sound good. Oh, good, right. I'm, I'm glad to know that you're still there. We do need a signature at the bottom. You are absolutely right. What is a painting without a signature? I think I'm going to put it right down in this corner. Well, let me take a look at the... What does the other corner look like? I'll put it in this corner. I was screaming in front of the, my screen. To be honest. We need a signature. That is a, that is a screamable moment. So I'm going to match, I'm going to go ahead and just grab this color again in here. Make sure it's all the way down. And just to match the beaver etching, I'm going to make it look like I etched my signature. I'm not liking the angle of that one. There we go. 
And then again, I'm going to darken this up a little bit. And just go over it one time. There's our beautiful painting. Masterpiece. I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure that I save that over. And we're good. Here's our painting called Quick Grab the Bounty. And I think it turned out really nice. Thank you to everybody who came in and made some contributions. Please no. Ah, uh, yes. Thank you, Riot, for suggesting that we put in the dick butt. Thank you, Captain Iraq, for suggesting we label the space bar. Thank you, Zion, for suggesting the slender man and that Santa is calling. Thank you, Leech, for the blood and the knife in the for a good time call beaver. I took it upon myself to do the glasses and to put on that they're watching MTV the classic. So please join us next time. You like it. But she has a fedora. So thank you, thank you. Mama Blue, you joined Stroking Together with Tipsy Ross. Uh, it is a new segment here on the channel where we paint together. People come in, they make suggestions, and then I paint them into the picture. And right now I've been grabbing just free photos off of the internet and uh, painting those. I don't even get a mention for the name. Ah, uh, and thank you, Darkseid, of course. For coming in and giving us the name and then plus a couple more after that just giving us all of the names oh, stop you didn't have to do that yes yes I did yeah for coming in and just giving us way way too many names even after we already accepted one you just you just kept you just kept giving us names just relentlessly giving us names it was pretty amazing. All right, folks. Well, I'm going to get out of here now. I hope you have a great rest of your evening. If you're good at something, do it over and over again. That's right. You need to perfect it, right? Goodbye, everyone. Have a great rest of your Wednesday evening. I'll be back next week to do another painting. In fact, I'll be painting this Saturday with the variety pack. We're doing a big painting day. Uh, Amazing is going to be painting. Uh, Captain E Rock as well. Uh, Odd Dustin. Um, Young Retro. I believe Daisy. Um, we're doing a giant day. Yes, Feffinator. There's a, a Roth. No, Rothmar wanted to, but he can't. There's a huge list of people. Bullet. So many. It's starting with Odd Dustin at 8 a.m. Eastern Time. He's going to host into me at the, in the 9 o'clock hour Eastern, and then I'm hosting into Captain Iraq at 10 o'clock Eastern. And we're just going to keep hosting into each other all throughout the day. So if you want to see a full day of Bob Ross celebration style painting here on the platform, check out Mixer's the mixer program what are we calling it stroking with ross taken right out of this segment that i've created <laughs> called stroking together with tipsy ross you guys have a great rest of your night and i will see you next time i would like to take this time to thank my patreon supporters my executive producers lee cho and skin ninja for helping me bring a variety of content to this variety channel here on the Mixer platform. And also to my moderators and the creative team who helped me bring all of this stuff 
together and make it look smooth for you guys. Have a great night.